Jerry Seinfeld's support for Israel amid its ongoing war in Gaza was no laughing matter for protesters at his recent show at Chrysler Hall in Norfolk, Virginia. In videos taken from the show, hecklers can be heard interrupting Seinfeld's set, yelling, Save the children of Gaza, and no more American tax dollars for genocide, while another audience member tells them repeatedly to shut up. At one point, someone calls the comedian a genocide supporter, adding that he should be ashamed of himself. Eventually, at least one of the protesters is forcibly removed from Chrysler Hall as the audience chants, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. The venue confirmed the incident in a statement to WTKR, citing its policy to remove hecklers and those who disrupt a performance. We are deeply disappointed that a group of protesters disrupted tonight's sold-out Jerry Seinfeld performance at Chrysler Hall, the statement read. Seven Venues stands by its policy to remove hecklers and those who disrupt a performance and will continue to protect the freedom of its patrons to enjoy an artist of their choosing without disruption. Reps for Seinfeld did not immediately respond to EW's request for comment. Since the deadly Hamas attack on October 7, the usually politically averse Seinfeld has been a vocal supporter of Israel, whose war in Gaza has left thousands dead, including many children, humanitarian aid workers, and innocent civilians. Last weekend, dozens of Duke University students walked out of Seinfeld's commencement speech, in which he implored the graduating class not to lose their sense of humor. I totally admire the ambitions of your generation to create a more just and inclusive society. I think it is also wonderful that you care so much about not hurting other people's feelings in the million and one ways we all do that every second of every day, Seinfeld said. He added, it's lovely to want to fix those things, but, all caps, but, what I need to tell you as a comedian, do not lose your sense of humor. You can have no idea at this point in your life how much you're going to need it to get through.